Cause I be bustin' a dope move But the problems stay the same How you riding for the cash when you ain't riding in my lane Shorty all about a paper so your mission look the same In the game I play the lane like Eddie Kane Cause I be bustin' a dope move Okay, let me see. Egypt was called by his people, Tamari meaning the beloved land, which is cultivated by the hoe. Okay, I found what you looked on. Now, he, he went on the first definition, too. I want no, you to he actually that. took a lot of it over line, too. So, a court, a, okay, so this joint right here is a... Is, is the same thing that was saying. Okay, Egypt was called by his people Tamari, meaning the beloved land which is cultivated by the hoe. There were other descriptive names of Egypt, such as Ta'at, meaning the land of the flood and fertile soil. KMT, I guess they saying Kemet, meaning the black soil. And NHT, meaning the land of sycamore tree. And MSIR, hold on, y'all. Yeah. Hold on. Are we we here right now. We we I can't, I, I can't. And I also want to tell you they took a lot of stuff off. Oh, I know what he about to say they took off, y'all. Cause they, they they I'm reading it right now and it clearly states it's not in America. It says it's on the Nile River. Again, y'all. I mean, again, y'all, show I mean, me again, y'all, hold on, wait. Let's continue to read about the Tamari people who the name of Egypt the name Egypt was derived from the name of the earth god, Geb, or A-G-P-T, meaning the covered land with flood water. For the, fair for, the, for the fair historians said that Egypt is a gift of the Nile and the Egyptians basically due to their sincere efforts to use and get utmost benefit of the great river and establish the great and well-known civilization on its bank. It is also said that the world civilizations... Are a gift of Egypt, and Egypt is the mother of the whole world. So again, y'all, this is clearly this is just one article. I can go to another one if, if we need to. No, this one I put Tamari America. Okay, uh, let me let me try that one. Okay, now listen, y'all, I ain't put it in yet. I'm about to. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm about to. I'm about to put it in. But as I was scrolling down to continue to look uh to look at uh. Just what it pops up on the first page of Tamari, the, well, the third, stuff, the third post, stuff. the third post is a Facebook post saying "Coming to America, Tamari, America was Egypt." I just want to, I just want to put that out there, y'all. I just want to put that out there that he's not the only one with. Okay, now listen, y'all. When I put in Tamari America, the first site is that Facebook site. Okay. The second site is America is the old world dot com. Who were the Moors in ancient times is a blog response to Dane Calloway. So, again, y'all, can we write those people off? The third site is Pinterest, a place where people post pictures, y'all. The fourth site, the fourth site is Pinterest, y'all. All right. WordPress, the meaning of America's sacred etymology. Tamari. OK, let's see what WordPress is. I'm not I'm not. Uh. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I know nothing about them. This was written by a man named Vision Thought 10 years ago. What does America mean? Depending on who you ask, the, Amer the meaning of America would differ due to a level of spiritual development, historical awareness, emotional attachment, as well as political perspective. Secret etymology of the word and searching for the meaning of America, we would arrange word in different ways without changing the spelling or sequential orders. Listen, y'all, this is all bullshit. I'm telling y'all this right now. I, I'll, I will continue to read through this. But this dude, like, again, he created a term called sacred etymology, where he's taking... I just told you they took the, the original shit off the line anyway. It tells you here, too. But, like I said... So, again, line, so again, I'm yo, what I want y'all to know is this. I don't care nothing about Egypt. I'm going to start there. What I, what I want y'all to know is this. As black people in America, we have truly been stripped of everything. Especially black. Go ahead. And due to the fact that we've been stripped of everything, we keep trying to put ourselves in different situations. I'm looking for something specific, but I, I know where it's at. And, and they're not even showing that. So, so what, you, I'm, you, so what, you, I'm, what you I want y'all to know is this. 
what, I, what I want y'all to know is this. Egypt is where they say it's at for the same reason Canaan is where they say it's at and Israel is where they say it's at for two reasons, y'all. The most things that you can find pertaining to these places are in the places they say they are. That's one reason why they say they're. The oldest things that you can say are relation to these things that we're talking about are in those places. So you can find... For example, you can find they, languages. They're not even showing the, the world of shit with with the proof right here. It's telling you what it means, but they're not even showing you. Which site? I'm, I'm, I'm I looked up Tomari America. Which a couple site? Months ago, which, right? site? which site? Which site? Which site? Just tell me the site so I can tell you why you why you on the phone fraud. You trying to take somebody's shit that they put nah, on? They got a simple definition. Normally, it's first. Where? Which definition. site? Which site is it on? I'm on Tomari America. I mean, you good. You looking at it. You looking at everybody trying to tell you now. That's going to be enough. I'm, yeah, and that's not I'm, enough, Paco, because these people have to give us fucking evidence that what they're saying is true. They just can't make a claim and we believe it because it, it, some of us might want it to be true. The white people just told you that's, that's what they named it. So relax. No, they did. Relax. Not, nothing relax. here. Nothing here. Listen, y'all. So now he's trying to use an article where a dude look white Hold and on, say. Well, you just put Tamari in the game with the definition of what it means. You fucking asshole. Are you talking about Tamari Egypt? You better relax. You talking about Tamari Egypt? Learn how to study, my nigga. But it don't say nothing about shit. America. You said Tamari. You said Egypt was in America. It is. How? They how? I told you what they call it. I, Paco, but I looked up Tamari America, Paco, and there's no actual evidence about it. It's some shit that people like you are writing fucking articles about it. You said Scientific oh, Journal. Paco, what's the Scientific Journal that said that? What's the Scientific Journal that said black Americans don't come from Africans? I want to look that up. I'm looking for the uh, definition in the, in the uh, dictionary for your week after they took offline already. All right, so the, word, so the word so the word isn't so the word tomorrow. Out of time, I already see all this stuff. So what I'm asking you, I'm not you. I'm not no dumbass that just yeah. shit is. is but Paco, is, is but Paco, you're not, not looking at Paco. Asking. You're not looking at the bigger picture. Our viewers haven't seen what you've seen. What if they want to go I look it up? So what if they want to go look it up? They gonna have to fucking do dig. They want to dig this shit up like I had to dig it up. But you just said it can't be found. What you mean? I said it can't be found. What the you said they took about? it off the internet. They did, but you can find it if you got the right shit. So what is the right shit? What you mean? What's the right shit? I'm looking for uh, like they take shit off every fucking like day, my nigga. I, I can find it. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not no dumbass nigga. I don't go to the top of Google and just fucking for oh that's for Facebook. I don't do that dumb shit. But he won't give us. He won't give us a site though, y'all. He won't give us a sight, but, you know, me saying that there is not one is me doing dumb shit. He can't produce something, but because I can't produce it, and I'm saying people that... People caught on. When people caught, catch on, they switch to shit. That's not me. That's, that's fucking facts, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, you should know that. My man, they take shit off of everything. They take shit off YouTube, my nigga. So listen, y'all, I, I, give, I give y'all a prime example. I give y'all a prime example. I give y'all a prime example. If you go on... on, on on you on the internet, right? Not even YouTube. On the internet, and you look up, are the Omex black? I'm pro I can promise you on that first page, right? You're gonna see at least three different things from Renoko Rashidi, because nobody has done. Retarded. I promise you this, y'all, because nobody's yeah, done more homework. No, 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 no. I'm giving y'all an example. I'm giving y'all an example. I'm giving y'all an example. How can something that people actually believe that scientists are studying not be found on the internet? Help me out with that, y'all. If it's a conclusive study or an ongoing study, either one, how is that not out there? Not the answer to it, but the fact that there's a study where people are disputing it. Only pages you can find talking about Egypt is in America are propaganda pages. Facebook. That's not real, y'all. You can I post whatever you want. I, Listen, y'all, Pinterest. Listen, y'all, Pinterest not is Facebook. not real. You know that. Listen, y'all, Pinterest not is not real, y'all. People post to Pinterest. Not scientists. People do. Why I do told you they, took, they take they shit do? online, bro. So what I'm I don't, I'm not, that's so not even something I'm willing to defend because I already got all the information. I'm explaining to y'all. At the end of the day, 
at the end of the day, he will sit here and argue with me about something that y'all can't even go fact check for yourself. I mean, your fact checking is worse than anybody's because you go to the top of Google. That's not. That's not. Everybody tell you that's not research. Any nigga with a fucking brain tell you that's not fucking Listen, research, man. brother. What I want y'all to understand is this: two things. If you go on the internet, right, and somebody says something, make a claim that you never heard before. You know the best place to find out that claim is true, y'all. It's not in the top of Google. Y yes. Google is the oh, Google you is fucking the best asshole. place. You now listen, fucking now listen, Ooh, now listen. Y'all can go through if it's something that y'all very, very passionate about. Y'all can go through four or five pages if you want, but you'll start to see a common conception. And what I mean by the common conception is this: I focus on science, y'all. If science, no, you don't. If science Ooh, is listen, so Paco, does science say Black Americans come from Africa? <laughs> Does so, science say that? Not really. No, the so, science say not really. But But listen, y'all, I got him on just an episode ago saying no. Science don't say that. I'm making that shit up. I, science is all going. No, like agree, Buddhism agree, and, agree, and agree, but it can, still, it can still have a motherfucking place today. And what I mean by a place, y'all, they can have what is the common conception based off of the scientific evidence. New evidence, it's like a trial, y'all. If, if, if a man has 10 women come into court saying he beat them up and raped them and then he goes to jail and DNA later becomes a thing. Remember, this was not always a thing. Then DNA becomes a thing. This technology, new information can now be introduced. That is science. He's correct about that. But until that new technology comes or new evidence that comes from the new technology, what you have is what the current evidence says. And the current evidence states that all modern day humans originate with black Africans. The same brainwashing machine that you've been listening to, you stick with. Now, but all fine. scientists but on Earth are part of listen, listen, y'all. This guy. Listen, y'all. We about, I'm about to put him. I'm about to put his feet to the fire, and I'm about to show y'all the difference between history and science. Show me something that science said racially about I black know people. The difference. I'm good at both subjects. Show me, show me something that subject. science. Show me something that science has whitewashed. I'll wait. What you mean? They whitewash everything. Show me something science has whitewashed. Not white people and not history. Show me something science has whitewashed, Paco. Oh. When they study, they say approximately, which is whitewashing. Listen, right? y'all. Listen, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all why it's not. Because technology is not available to get an exact date. That's why. That's not why, y'all. There is no technology. No, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. You don't shut it down. You go off of what the scientific evidence says so far. Well, be scientific about it. So, so, they, so, so I'll, I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all a point. I'll show y'all a point. A thousand years ago, nobody could give you a date on anything because those methods did not exist. Now, today, you can get an approximate date. Maybe in ten thousand years, or a thousand years, or five hundred years, or maybe fifty years, you could be able to get an exact date. But y'all have to understand, he's asking for something that's unreasonable while rejecting what the evidence does say. That's what he's doing. He's saying it's whitewash because it doesn't agree with him. He's saying it's whitewash because it's not perfect. But he just said himself, science is ongoing. So how can he expect it to be perfect in 2020? It's not supposed to be. I'm, I've been. But you science, want it to be I'm perfect. Right. Okay, so now, so, now, so now show us what you learned through science that is perfect. Show us something that you know that's a hundred percent fact that science taught you. That's perfect. Please show. Please, please, please enlighten us. The thing that already exists, like cars and metal. Okay. Uh, so I want to show y'all something. How stupid he really is, and it's sad that he said what he said. Uh, so listen, y'all. It's sad that he said what he said. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real sad. He said like cars, y'all. So what about the day before the first car was made? What you mean? What, say it again? So what about the day before the first car was made, y'all? He's talking about technolo technological advancements. I asked him, show me something that science has showed you that's an absolute. The car was not an absolute until, uh, until it was built, y'all. It, it, it wasn't built in a day. Metal was always there. They didn't, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Metal was metal. always there, y'all. Yeah, but they didn't make metal. No, no, we, no, metal. no, no. Science didn't make metal. Science found a way to manipulate metal. Oh my God! So anybody that do anything, it got to be today's science. 
All right. Okay, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Science finds a way to manipulate metal. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about or trying to push. Yeah, but what that got to do with today's science that got approximately on everything? So so what it has to do, what it has to do with it is this, y'all. I asked him to show me science that was definitive, that ruled in the absolute. And he said cars, y'all. He said metal. Today in science, they made uh, cars. Listen, so, y'all. There you go. Listen, y'all. Multiple, multiple different aspects of science led to the car. Not one. Multiple different aspects of science led to the car, the airplane, the boat, the steam engine, the microchip. Listen, y'all. That is not the science I'm talking about. I'm talking about show me science. Yeah, show me science uh -huh. that rules in an absolute. Making a car, y'all, is not showing science that rules in an absolute. Well, the periodic uh, chart. Uh, again, y'all, finding something, finding something and creating. Listen, y'all, finding. Listen, y'all, finding something and creating and creating definitions for it is not. Damn, I got some good ass pictures in my phone. Dog, that's terrible, cuz. You just said the periodic chart, cars and metal. You're a fucking retard. You know that, right? You think so, Paco, how can the periodic know. charts be? Listen, Paco. I, 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 I know listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. I will use I his. I will use his ideology to show him how stupid it is. Do the periodic charts call themselves those things, Paco? What you mean? Do they call themselves? Just like things? you. Just like you say, people don't call themselves X, Y, Z. I can show you how what? stupid it is, Paco. That's not science, Paco. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Tell. Please put it all together. Okay. Okay. Paco, how old is the Hebrews? How the fuck would I know that? So people been following the Torah forever. I don't fucking know. Do you have evidence of people following the Torah forever? Do you yeah, have Chinese? Uh, Chinese samurai culture they even followed the Torah. Paco, Paco, the Paco you're Torah. lying. Indian Paco, Paco, you're Torah. lying. Paco, listen, I want y'all to understand something. The biggest religion in Japan is Shinto. It always was, y'all. You haven't even studied enough to even... Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Japan has its own religion it created as well, y'all. It's called Shinto. That's kind of new, bro. No, I'm it's not new, y'all. No, y'all. It's not new. It's before Hebrewism. It's before... Way before some Shinto, brother. Listen, y'all. That's debatable. So wake up. Listen, y'all. That's debatable. I'm going to show y'all why it's debatable. debatable. I'm going to show y'all why it's debatable. Do you... you know what I'm saying? Do y'all believe that Indo-Aryans made it back this way to Israel before the people who leave from India make it to China or Asia, I mean, or Japan? Ask yourselves them questions. Whoever made it where first, that's when it got there. Shinto come from Buddhism, whether he know this or not. So when Buddhist, and, and I think he'll go on record saying Buddhist, Buddhism is older than Judaism, which it might not be. I don't think so. I don't I'm about to say that's argued. That's debatable because people are going to try to say, the idea, I don't think the Buddha existed before Judaism, personally. I think he comes after, but I could be wrong. I haven't, I, I think, I can't remember the date when he supposedly lived, but that's not the point. Shinto come out of Buddhism. Confucianism come out of Buddhism. Now, you go back in Asia's history. Shinto is all on that coast. China, all in. The Mongolians is the ones who pushed that shit out. So, now listen, y'all, Confucianism, Confucianism predates Judaism in Asia. What? What? I'll say it again. I'll say it again, y'all. I'll say it again. I'll say it again, y'all. Shinto, listen, y'all, I'll say it again. Shinto and Confucianism, Confucianism, they both predate Judaism in Asia. They both do. He lying, y'all. Samurais ain't following no Torah. That's bullshit. All right. That's bullshit. He can't. He can't produce that shit okay. nowhere. Listen, y'all. He can't. Pro now, I bet you that been took off the internet too, y'all. What? I bet you that been taken off the internet too. Oh no. Nah, I, I mean, probably, but I'm not into that. I'm not arguing with you about certain shit. Like, you know they take shit off the internet. If you don't, you're just a fucking dummy. Listen, y'all, I'm not dis disputing that they take things off the internet, but it's it's crazy how they take everything he study off. That's I mean, hell, of hell of a kawinky I'm studying, dink. I'm studying something else. Nigga. Hell of a kawinky dink, y'all. So again, y'all, now today, all of a sudden, black people 
is mixed with Africans, or we might come from them 100,000 years ago. But just on the last video, y'all, we wasn't nothing to do with Africa. We was 100% Mayans. We was the Mayans. That's my theory, and I've seen it on But listen, y'all, I'm, I'm a dummy on the phone and all that shit, but now I'm a dummy because of his theory. He told me it was a fact, and scientists said this, and it was a scientific journal, and a chart that I showed him clearly states that the black Americans are Mayans. Y'all, why is that? Why did that change? I ain't changing nothing. What you talking about? Why did that change, y'all? Why is he saying now that there's a possibility we could have African in us? Why is he saying that? I said 100,000. I was just fucking with you on the mind thing. Oh, now you just fucking with me, yo. No, I said that's my theory. I, I'll say it again. That's my theory. I still believe in that. When I'm in, I still, to this day. This and, is, and you gave me the chart to make sure I, I still believe in that shit. What I would tell y'all okay. is this. I, my I'm personal, a historian. We talking, about, we talking about what we believe. My personal belief is black people was amongst all the Native American civilizations and what they call Mesoamerica when South America or the Mexico area got popping. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Not necessarily why I believe it. I believe it because I just don't believe that all the black people here are slave, come from slavery. I don't think that all the black people here necessarily look like most You don't know better than that. So what, I'm not saying, I'm not, my, my point is this, y'all. All right. And for the people who don't believe that the, the Omex is black, right? Ask yourself this, because I know he's listening now. Uh, I think his name is Brandon first. I'm, I could be the other guy, though. I'm sorry if I said the wrong name. But listen, cuz, what I want you to know is this. That technology exists in Africa before it exists here. So if a group of Africans did come over here, right? It would be easy for those next groups of Native American who their population might be primarily Native American, but they still got black people amongst them because they came from. Now, listen, now, 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 now use the Mayans and the Aztecs. Use the fact that they had jet black gods. I want y'all to understand that's where they got the shit from. Or are you saying these two things develop completely independently in two different parts of the world? I don't think that. Me neither. Me neither. But people like him who don't think it's no possible way that the Omex was black. And I'm asking him, how can you think that when they've never found the Omex? If you had nobody to look at the skull size at least, even if you can't get genetic material, if you can at least look at the skull size, that could give you some, inclina some inclination. And even though some mongoloids, people say, have been somewhat deceiving. They feel like, just like a couple, a couple of the archaic mongoloids or first mo people of Asia's, they feel like some of them look kind of black. Of course they do, because they come from black mixing with archaic human. So of course they look somewhat black, but they're not complete. I understand their premise, but at the same way, if, if we can't find an Omec to test him genetically, or at least, the very least, look at his skull, you can get a piece of a skull and that could give you a, 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 they can go on the computer and give you a, a, a diagram of what the skull should be shaped like based off of that piece. So, like, that's geometry. Trigonometry is the same thing. That, that's what that is. That is. That is using different angles, the radius, to describe what the whole thing must have been. They can do that from a piece of a skull, just like they can do it from one piece of a femur bone. Depending on how big that bone is, just like all of us, one part of the femur is bigger than the other part of the, the femur. The tricep has more muscle on it than the forearm. So these are things that are just geographical amongst modern day humans. So now this is how they get approximate range for humans is six feet. That's if you take all people on earth. Now we know mongoloids is the shortest people on earth. We all know that. As a group of people, Asians are the shortest people on earth. So even with the most people on earth being there, the world's median population or average population is six feet tall. Because we know certain Asians is taller than that. Look at Yao Ming. So what I want y'all to understand is genetically is the only way we can actually be sure about that, things that come about people. Radiocarbon dating and stuff like that. Those are better than looking at what's deeper in the dirt, like tree rings. But tree rings is the smallest form of, of dating. They only go back so far, y'all. Radiocarbon is in everything. It's in the air. The sun's radiation cannot be blocked. It's at the bottom of the ocean. 
They got vents and shit at the bottom of the ocean where gases come out that organisms feed off of the organisms that feed off that gas. And that's how they get their sun's energy. The sun is the reason why everything on this planet is alive, y'all. It wasn't just water. It was the sun. It's radiation. There are multiple different organisms at work here that y'all don't account for in y'all daily life. Y'all know about the water in y'all body and the potassium and the iron and the zinc. Y'all know about all that stuff. But without this radiation, nothing would be alive. The plants is alive due to photosynthesis. The air we breathe, a large portion of it comes from the plant life of this planet. The sun made a way. And this is why these religions worshipped it. What, the sun? Yes. Because they knew this back then. They knew this back then. But when, Are you back there worshiping the sun? Fuck no. I'm not worshiping nothing because I call that science. They made a religion around it. Thousands of years ago when people didn't have no goddamn sense. I would hope people today got more sense than that. That's what I would hope. I would hope that today people had more brains than to give some, the power credit for something you can see to something you can't see. Stupid shit. Dumb shit. Like adopting other people's philosophies. You want to thank you want to thank the pig or the chicken or the cow for his sacrifice? Make a cow deity. Make a pig deity. Make a bird deity like they did in other places of the world. And it wasn't until power became a thing that motherfuckers had to manipulate this shit. Listen, y'all, all we got to do is look at the black Hebrews in America. They completely changed what the original members of the Hebrew Israelite Church of America believed. They believed they were Africans. These people have gotten so far into it, now Africans can't even be a part of their shit. I want y'all to see what power does. It corrupts. So the men who built these foundations, the men who were sub who were prejudiced against and all that shit. Now these niggas live in a world where they can sit on the corner and they can call the white man filthy swine and all this other shit. And it's cool because you got freedom of speech. But the people who were doing this shit in the 80s, 1800s and 80s, 1890s, some of them were born in Africa, y'all. Some of these groups were, like I said, the Hebrew shit is the ugliest because it was based off them being Ethiopian Jews. Haile Selassie didn't accept their claim because he was like one of these people like whitewashed black Americans. He was more impressed with the Middle Eastern Jew heritage of Ethiopia. He didn't like the African part. He was down with the, the light-skinned motherfuckers. Nothing. That don't change nothing and I don't give a fuck about him either. It don't change that, nothing. I don't it know don't, that changes it, anything. It don't change nothing about that. <laughs> Only thing that changes is where these niggas stop, stop claiming it was what their forefathers did and they changed the narrative. That's where the change come. Where they changed the narrative to suit where they was at. Well, if we start saying black Caribbeans is part of the 12 tribes and Native Americans is part of the 12 tribes, we can go recruit people who have been subjugated like black Americans. So we can just lie to these niggas so we can get the strength in numbers. So we can get followers. So we can get people to come to our church and donate and shit like that because they members. And we can get different chicks. We can have four, five, six wives because God said we could. God also said that y'all could fuck 12 year olds. That's cool. Oh, oh, we ain't going to listen to God on that. But we're going to listen to him when we can have six wives. I'm not knocking nobody having six wives. You can have 60 wives if you want. Do you. Play a play on. The point is, it's funny how some of the shit God say y'all fuck with and other shit y'all don't. That's just funny to me. When he is God. That's the, why they hypocrites. The big, Everybody know that. Huh? That's why they hypocrites. Everybody know that. That's why they what? Hypocrites. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, religion will make you a hypocrite. I'm, <laughs> but, but I'm telling you, I'm going to get it today. He going, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get as soon as I get him on the phone. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to shut all y'all shit down. We ain't no fucking Hebrews. We ain't no fucking nation of Islam. We black people. <laughs> We, we Africans that's mixed with a bunch of other shit. Cool, 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 cool. We need to accept that, y'all. We need Rock, to... you need to accept it. Not, that's not the case. It is that's the case, brother. 
<laughs> even if it was a hundred thousand. What if one Some group, of us is. What if one group What if one group came here a hundred thousand years ago and then the Omex came and then no, excuse me, I'm just fucking shit up. One group came a hundred thousand years ago, then Luzia's people came. By the books, yeah. Then Naia's people came. I'm calling all these people black. For the sake of this for this hypothetical scenario. The first one's a hundred thousand years ago, black. Luzia, black. Naia, black. The Omex, mm -hmm. black. Now, what if in between that whole timeline I just dropped, more Asians came over here than black people? From, over, from 100,000 years ago. We talking about the beginning of things and you just interject a lot and act retarded. And, that, and then don't know history. So you just do a lot, man. You so just do I, a whole lot. What I, what I just gave y'all was a hypothetical scenario. I said if the first people ever in America 100,000 years ago was black, if Luzia is black, if Naia's people are black, if the Folsom people and the Clovis people is black, yeah, the Omex is old. black. Yes, sir. So listen, y'all. Now, throughout the time from 100,000 years to whatever date, the Omex is perfectly dated at one day in the future. To whatever date it comes out to be. What if more Mongoloids migrated to the America in that time than those people who was here? That's the only thing I'm I, asking. I, I know about the Asian immigration over here, and I'm still telling you what it is, so that should tell you something. And what I'm telling y'all is this. The, the a Asian immigration of... Or the Mongoloid, uh, same thing. Yeah, but, but, it's not, uh, but, it, but they're not the same time, and they're not the same thing. One is a yeah, group of people that... came later, I know. Nah, but they both, but they both Mongoloids, huh? Sure. They both came, they both Mongoloids. They just came to the Americas at different times. Why is that so hard to understand? Yeah. And they came that's by different right. means. That's what I know. So, so what I'm explaining to y'all is, when we when we looking at this whole thing in a nutshell, if they was coming, hypothetically speaking, if they was coming to the Americas in the time of Luzia, and Luzia, he don't believe in the dates, but Luzia is approximately fourteen thousand five hundred years. The Omex are approximately two thousand BC. Family here way before that time, so. So what I'm explaining to y'all, right what I'm explaining to y'all is this: even if she did, yeah, that, listen to him, even girl. if she did, y'all, how big was the amount of people that came over here with her? So what I want y'all to understand is they believe that there was three major waves coming out of Siberia, and there's also the Salutrian hypothesis. Now huh? I can't wait till he find out about that, y'all. Say it again. I don't know what you're talking about. The Salutrian hypothesis. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let the cat uh, out the bag. I'm gonna I've be, never heard of it. I'm going to be quiet, y'all. I'm going to be quiet. When he find out about that, I promise y'all, he going to make that shit black too. <laughs> I promise y'all. Just remember I said that on episode whatever this is, 56, 55, whatever. The, just remember I said, when he find out about the Salutrian hypothesis, he will find a way to make it black. And then when y'all look it up, I don't inject myself in the, in the bullshit, so I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you said black people came here a hundred thousand years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't have no hypothesis of how they did that. <laughs> nobody, nobody agrees with you. There is no, there is no, no theory on that, y'all, because there's no evidence for it. There's no evidence One, for anybody wow. here a hundred thousand years ago. One is uh, the continent was closer. No, they wasn't. Not 100,000 years ago, they weren't. 100 million years ago, they were. No, you're making up stuff. No, no. They're, they're, no, that Pangea shit is hundreds of millions of years ago. You bugging, cuz. The last fucking shift, I believe, if my number is correctly, is like 48 million years ago or 68 million. That's the last time anything moved, y'all. And if my memory serves me correctly, it's like the island shit. Islands have been bro broken off within like the last 50 million years, but none of the major there's zones. There's fucking buildings all over South America. They ain't ever out of America too, but South So what? America but they mostly. wasn't, the, but that don't mean that Africans are the only people at the point of the, the time those buildings are built to build with stone. You're making a grave mistake. Multiple people around the world was building with stone in fucking 3000 BC. Especially here, but. Everywhere. Uh, the turkey you love like so said, much, the whole Middle East. Mesopotamia is older than everything in America. Some of them stoneworks in Peru is older than most None of them is older than Mesopotamia. Not one. Not one. 
I don't know. There's not one pyramid. There is not one uh maybe one thing that might be that don't have nothing to do with pyramids. Like, yeah, of course, like the the, the artifacts and stuff is older. The arrowheads and the figurines. That they shit was is over here creating fruit and fucking vegetables for the world to use today. Period. Period. And that seemed to be the biggest uh ways people got so much wealth to build these things. Or gold or, or mining gold and stuff like that, even before that time. Right. Mining uh, different minerals out the ground. That's everywhere on Earth, y'all. Yeah, but here it was proof that they were doing There's that. There's proof so. of it everywhere on Earth, or on Earth, y'all. Where people live. Okay. Where people live, they took the natural resources out, out the ground. So, yeah, okay. y'all. Whenever, whenever people got here, they start automatically living off the land. That was the way everybody lived back then, y'all. Everybody, there, well, there, there was no grocery store. There was well, no doctor's office where you could go and get motherfucking medicine, y'all. Wasn't around the world creating shit over here. But listen, y'all, they didn't have to create it. They came here and they found it, cause it it wasn't they where they came corn from. And, and sweet potatoes and shit. Okay. The who? Corn, sweet potatoes. No, I, I'll say that corn is something that I believe they made. Sweet potatoes is probably a hybrid. They already knew about potatoes, though. Yeah. So. It, 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 a lot of different shit. But like uh, cabbage, y'all. Cabbage has like 11 different versions from kale to lettuce. So, but they're all come from the, the same original cabbage plants just being in different parts of the world. The people had enough money to make all that ill shit in, in Asia because they were selling rice. That's just how it is. Food. Well, they was taking shit well. too. They was taking shit too. Then people wasn't just selling shit. They had uh, empires. They, from the first empire, good. y'all. The first empire. Go back to the hand. Empire, the Han Dynasty. Whatever. I know and the Han it. people look like Chinese people, y'all. I want y'all to dig it. The Zai after, don't. After, after listen, Gazzola listen, y'all. I'm giving and, y'all and, something. And, and I'm giving y'all something. Zai don't. Zai people do not look like Han people, y'all. Zai people are melanated people. Facts. Yeah. And Shang people. I don't know nothing about Shang people. And you people. I don't know nothing about they them. They might have took that name, you. I don't know. I ain't never. What, is that a dynasty or empire? Where is it at? China, Asia. I mean, it's Japan, Korea. Which one are you talking about? The, the uh, Shang. Yeah, Shang is China. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he. I don't. I don't know about the Shang. I know the Zai got black people all throughout their shit. What I want y'all to understand is the hand. I always be saying talking about the Yayoi and stuff. That's a, that's like a part of the hand. But that came after, so yeah, probably. It did come after, but what I want y'all to understand is this. It did come after. Me and him are agreeing there that the original people who go into these places are black. I've never said anything different. What I want y'all to understand is what I did say is this. In the time of the samurai, no matter who created the, the teachings, the mass majority of the population looked like hand people. Hand people had taken all over Asia by that point, by 1100 AD, y'all. They had done this by 5000 BC. A samurai, the samurai story is not necessarily Chinese, it's Japan. I like know, the same thing. The hand, same thing. That's why Japanese, that, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all, that's why Japanese people look like Koreans and Chinese people, y'all. Because those are all descendants of hand people. The people who originally start Japan are black. He's right. That's Ainu. Ainu are not hand people. Ainu are related to the people in Australia. Ainu are related to the people in the Senegalese islands. The Adam and Islanders. Uh, that's who I knew people, people are related to, people. y'all. They're small people, yeah. Nah, y'all pygmy. Again, y'all pygmy is African too. Whether y'all don't know it. When the pygmies left Africa... If you ain't look at that map, it says the pygmy people was in the, uh, in the, the Asians too. The, uh, right, Louisiana. right. But that's different. That That's dwarfism. I want to show y'all the difference. The pygmy dwarfism. people... Right. Yes. the pig, That's where dwarfism comes from on this planet, y'all. It comes from uh, the Hobbit. It comes from Homo Florensensis. That's where that gene comes from. Those people were small people. That's just what they were. They were archaic humans. They were not modern day humans. But pygmyism does not come from that. So when they talk about Asian pygmies, y'all, when they talk about Asian pygmies, they talk about people who come from Africa. We agree the first inhabitants of Asia are black, y'all. At one time, there was nobody else. You, I'm trying to explain this as nice as I can without offending anybody. The Mongoloids and Caucasoids of this planet, y'all come from us, not black Americans, but Africans, black people, mixing with archaic humans. 
That's where all y'all get y'all start from. Let me explain to y'all why the population of Asia is so large. Because there were multiple mixes that went on in different parts of Asia. That's why Asia is the most populated place.